points in this range are pretty big because uh, you're talking the difference between um, average intelligence to a little bit superior, right? Well, they're both in the high average range. I mean, like Dr. Sitt said, the high average range is from 110 to 119. I see. And superior starts at 120. Okay. So, so they're um, both high average. They're both high average, Ralph yeah, and, both high average. and Richard. So where did okay. Richard edge me out, can you say? I, it, it basically, it's, it's really hard to say. You had different breakdowns and different strengths and different areas. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. By the way, I don't know who needs IQ testing, but these two doctors are terrific. Check out Dr. Sid at mindfulconsultinggroup.com and drsid.com, and check out Dr. Mugley at psychologytoday.com. All right, we're getting into our top three now. The, here's the big and, here's and what You I, know what? Everybody always said that this would be the top three. Right. Here's what I got out of this. Yeah, and, and Dr. Mugley, by the way, if you had to date one of them, uh, would it be Richard or Ralph? <laughs> Ralph wants to know. He's asked me, he slipped me a note and asked me to ask you that. <laughs> All right, never mind that. I can see you're very professional. She's smart enough not to answer. Right. She's smart enough not to date any of these idiots. Here's what I got out All of right. this, Howard. The last score was 117, correct? Go ahead. So, so the next score has to be minimum 118. The top score is 122. So could the be three a tie. Of, well, you could, someone could be another 117. The, but the three, oh, that, well. No, I guess, I guess it wouldn't right. be, yeah. So the, there's three of us within four points of each other. That's right. So we're pretty well... But tell me how badly you want to be the top guy. You I, I got to tell you, I'm, uh, the, the, way, the way I was, uh, when I went home yesterday, the way it wrecked my fucking day, yeah. I was like ready to take a 108. Right. So one, anything above 115, so I know I'm at least a 118. Jason, you want to take the whole thing. You've said your whole self-esteem, you have nothing going on for you. You're not good looking. You don't have sports. Right. You don't have anything. Taking right. the top prize is most important. More than anything. All Look right. More than Will anything. Will laughing hysterically over yeah, here. Will loves it because Will knows the results. <laughs> That's uh, not fair. Scott DePace, uh, you have been pretty confident. That your confidence dropped in the last 24 hours. It's back up now. It's getting back up. You're, You're back glad. at, yeah, yeah, I'm number one. All right. Here we go, boys. Let's go. The f next person in line with Just an IQ. Just now, anybody want to bet that Scott DePace is not number one? <laughs> well, I've seen Shut up, results, Robin. So. Why do you keep saying that? All right. Here I'll, we go. You know, you go take Gary, the test. you are sweating. I'm sweating like a pig. I took my jacket off. My pits are stained. What's going on? It's fucking hot in here. But, but Gary, you're all so nervous, you're, you're 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 in. You're in the top three. I know, but it's one. Just fucking finish it. <laughs> He's producing. Sir, finish you're, the you're, you're gonna pass out. I, I know. Hey, Howard, maybe you have to take a break. Oh. <laughs> Jeff the drunk. Who's gonna be um, who's gonna be the next one eliminated? The pace. The pace. The pace. High pitch. Who's the next one eliminated? I would have to say it's not the pace. What you do you know, say, Sal? You know these guys. I would say Gary Delabate. Gary Delabate will be the next one to go? You can't go based on who you hate the most. No, I don't hate you at all, Gary. You're I just, just think guessing. that you're a little delusional sometimes, and you think you're smarter than other people. <laughs> I, I, here's what I know. Here's what I know for be... fact. Here's what I know for fact. I'm at least 15 to 16 points higher than you. That's a lot. All right. Oh, um, you're, you're pretty Scott smart. You can Richard, do basic math. Based on what you know, who do you think? You've you got a high IQ. I think Jason is out next, and only probably because he was so nervous about this. I think nerves have something mm. to do with taking this test. All right. So you're saying that really the top two come down between Scott and Gary. <laughs> yeah. J.D., who do you think said next one to be eliminated? I think uh, just based on, like, age and stuff, I'll say Jason. Jason. Yeah, life experience, whatever. Life experience, life okay. Experience. Scott. Like, that has anything Scott. to do with anything. <laughs> who does uh, here Fred we go, think? guys. Who does Fred think? Fred, who do you think is the next one to go? It's this is too close to call now. Ow. It's that tight. It's close. Gary, Jason, or Scott is going out next. Which one do you think is out next? For selfish reasons, I would like Scott to be out next. Robin, who do you think's out next? <laughs> well, Good to know I you love Scott. I like to have Scott out next. Well, here we go, boys. At an IQ of 118. Nothing to sneeze nice at. He's talking about his bet, Gary, dummy. Here we go. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary, it's not you. Oh. Either Scott or Jason, which would be a major wow. upset. And Jason that would be devastated. Upset. So this is it. Now we're head-to-head. -head. Now we you're head-to-head -head finally. You guys, <laughs> you guys have been arguing about who's smarter. Right. You call each this other idiots. It. You stand opposites on the political spectrum. Come on, Jason. I would like to say those general knowledge questions should not have been in this test. Uh -oh. It's the pace, I'm telling you. <laughs> Scott, you've always said you're smarter than Jason, haven't you? Yeah, I, I know I am. Jason. You know you're smarter than Scott, don't you? Yes, sir. This is important. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Very important. Jason. Uh-oh. You're not smarter than Scott DePace. Oh! oh yes! Yes! <laughs> 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 
God, no. Wow. <laughs> Gary, no. you are smarter than Jason. Okay. And it now comes down to two wow. people. Get out of here, boy. Wow. So, so <laughs> let's do this. So, so now there's two numbers left. Jason, are you all right? This is shaking your world. I know you wanted to be number one badly. What's the number? 118. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not upset by the number. I'm actually fine with the number. Damn but it, I, I should have put more money on myself. One wow. of these two guys is of superior. I had $1,000 on you and I took it off. Yeah, you, fuck you idiot. Why'd you, you do that? Because you talk like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that, by the way. You're welcome. Maybe both of these guys are of superior intelligence. We don't know. Jeez, but you at you least me out one of, it. of them I is did of not. superior Gary was an you idiot. You talked me out of it. <laughs> How am I an idiot? All right, because here we go. Howard. Yes, doctor. Can I give Jason just a little a little pat on the back? Go ahead. Go ahead. He scored highest over everybody in the one area that is used if you pick one test that you really represent IQ most succinctly by. Yes. Jason scored in the 99th percentile, of which what? is very superior top of the top. Of what category? It's what we call the verbal comprehension category. And what, what, give me, I mean, we remember the those test. Were, those were, that had to do with information questions, things about, uh, General knowledge. General knowledge. It's the exactly. place where Scott the wants crap, you the, to, right. to exactly. drop the test. So, so this is, okay. by the way, this is Scott already uh, defaming the test, saying we, general knowledge is unimportant. Uh, I know yeah. the important Howard. spatial stuff. And is it that stuff you can learn? Ladies and gentlemen, well, let's stop well, the shenanigans. Has One thing has to do with being able to learn. The test speaks for itself. Howard, I think if you talk to Jason a little bit, you can make him cry. He looks Jason, are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I, I hate not winning, man. I, 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 I come so close in all these contests. I always make it to the final three, the final two, and I just can't get over the top. Even in the weight loss. I Even the weight loss, I lost at the last second, and yesterday yeah. I lost, and, and today I lost. Are you a loser? I lost. <laughs> yes. Even with a 118, you feel you lost because you really wanted to beat Scott. It wasn't so much a Gary thing. It was more a Scott. No, this was, I mean, it, w it would have been great to beat Scott, but I wanted to win. Scott has a smile <laughs> on his face. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, it's so awesome, dude. <laughs> hey, what did you say on the wrap-up show yesterday, Jason? You're fat, ugly, and you're not good at sports, and all yeah. you had to look forward to is winning this? Like, yeah. You lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> going to be a lot of shenanigans on this show. <laughs> oh, man. Jason may have only lost by a point. I mean, come on, DePace. Well, the, the top so person does have a 122. 122. What, and, and so can uh, you tell us what the two numbers are that left? It's 122, and what's the other number? How close are It comes people? down to between Gary and Scott DePace. Mm. So one of these two guys is a 122. By the way, I've already exceeded expectations. Yes, I'm not even supposed to be standing result, on the top The result two. is shocking because yeah. everyone thought it was going to be Scott and Jason standing yeah. there. For some reason, they convinced us. <laughs> Jason um, convinced. Well, I think we were right. We were top three. <laughs> so what are the two numbers? Okay, the two numbers, you boys are separated by one point. Wow. One so they're person, both of superior intelligence. They're both oh. superior intelligence. One person has a 121. That already irritates me that he's of superior intelligence. <laughs> well, you it don't could know be that you. Yet. Well, no, both are, because one's oh, a 122, oh. one's a 121. You one, just don't mean And if you take Gary's <laughs> memory part out of it, he probably did miserably. It's a test. If you take out <laughs> the English on the SAT, well, you you're better Gary, than If you give Gary a lobotomy, <laughs> right. he would what? probably do better. This is exactly what Gary said Scott would right. do. Oh, you're so You're so not caught up. You're so easy to read. What is it, Ralph? I'm totally pulling for Gary because if Scott loses that by that one point, then I win my bet against Scott because I get the 10 points. Oh, right. mm. Come on, Howard. Gary. Can we take one final bet in Howard Stern show fashion? Go ahead. Would the loser be willing to submit to a teabagging? <laughs> Why? Why, Why would, would I do that? that? Well, Gary, if you think you're smarter than DePace. No. What so, do I get? This again proves your lower intelligence. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks for reminding me. Yeah, be, be quiet, Sal. Uh, Sal, best to keep quiet now. Don't even talk <laughs> to these two guys, Sal. They're too smart for you. The, these guys are way out of your league. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what it does prove, though, that you're gay. Because you always <laughs> want to take your penis out. I'll, I'll get tea bag, bye. All right. Oh Here we God. go. And wow. now the person with the highest IQ gets the bragging rights and everything. Robin, who is it going to be? Oh, I don't want it to be Scott DePay. Could you have written this, by the way? Isn't this where it I should be? I want it to be Gary, and I love that it wow. could be Gary. And Ganji has, what, 200 on me, I think? Uh, Fred, who's going who's gonna to walk away? The winner. Well. Between DePay and Gary. It's separated by one point. I'm still giving it to Gary. 
Uh, doctors, statistically, Sorry, Mr. spatial relations. Statistically, <laughs> it means nothing because statistically, it's one point. One point it, you know, someone could have just had a bad day, especially right? at this level. That's right. Right. Yeah, that's okay. right. So it's really even, uh, yeah. especially at I our think level. Gary was Gary was definitely more nervous than Scott was. Coming. Okay. Really? You told me I looked stressed out. He told me that right to my face. I all go, right. wow. You started out and then you evened out, Scott. Oh, I was okay. All right. Here we go. Evened out. Let's right. find out. All right. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> the person who is smartest, the person who has earned bragging rights beyond anything we can comprehend, the person who's going to go on the wrap-up show every day and go, you dumb fucks. Uh, well, that mean, does that mean it's Gary? Because he's on the wrap-up show every day. So are you. I've if, heard if you, you on many you times. Be there. I'm against that show. When you decide to show up again and not be a baby, you can say <laughs> it. The person with a 122 IQ of superior intelligence taking the number one spot Don't Gary, you hate Scott. You, he, <laughs> I don't hate he him. He doesn't talk to him. But you said him. he's stupid because he can't even comprehend the, the argument that you're having. He refuses him. to listen. Right. And, and, and listen and, would and, be a and, sign of low no, intelligence. listen means if he doesn't agree listen, with I mean. him. He wants me to just to agree with him all the time. That's, right. that's the difference. Gary, how badly do you want to beat Scott? I'd like to beat him. And I'm, like I said, I've already surpassed. Gary, how much would you love it if I told you right now that you won? I'm not going to give you the answer you want, because then, you, then you're going to go, well, it's not you. I'm not saying that. I'm not Scott, playing your fucking reindeer games. I want to win, and I'm going to kick his ass. Scott, guess what? It's not me. It is me. It's not me. taking a break. Scott. Yeah? I'll give you your answer after these words. Ah! Yeah, I got it. Oh, shit. All right, Scott, so we're in commercial break, waiting to hear the results. How are you feeling? I feel confident. I, if it was, if it was against that brain, <laughs> if it were against Jason, that's I'd why he's bald. He pushed all his hair away from me. <laughs> if it were against Jason, I'd feel a little less confident. But I, I know I'm smarter than Gary, so I think I'm going to take this. Gary, yes. How are you feeling, man? It's I've already won. I, I mean, I've already won in the sense that we're a point apart, and I'm already higher than I was supposed to be. Uh, everyone had me in the top three, and many people didn't even have me in the top three. So now here I am in the top two, a point away from the winner. And uh, so I don't really care. I won my 900 bucks. I won 900 bucks, and it, it would be nice. It would be nice to be the winner, but I'm not a loser. I haven't lost in any way. Welcome back to the game, all of America loves. What's your IQ? With your host Howard Stern, Robin, it's exciting, guys. Put up that chart so far so we can review for anyone tuning in late. We're down to the top two IQs on our staff. If you remember, Wendy the retard was uh, lowest with 61. Uh, you had a uh, high pitch error coming in with 66, although the testers believe that Eric could have done much better if he tried harder. Yeah, he so, doesn't uh, act like a 66. So that's pretty good news for you, my friend. Uh, Jeff Caro, Jeff the drunk. Uh, came in with an 89 with a, with this to say that Jeff's IQ is actually higher because of his handicap in his arm. He couldn't test as well, so that's got to be. He's a big definitely relief. underachieving. Right, and uh, and then Shut we look. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, your IQ is higher than indicated. I'm a normal guy. Evidently, like I always thought. Uh, speaking of normal, Sal, no one could be more normal than you at 102. Thank God. I was afraid you'd, you'd actually fall below Jeff, and you've actually. I hope you've processed this. This is a good thing. You're out. Yeah, this is good, and I won all my bets. You, you know? did. I yes. don't even know where I fell out on the bets. Am I? How am I doing over there, Johnny? Am I down or am I up? You're down 300. I am. Yeah. Good Lord. I'm in bad shape. I'm in bad shape, too. Who's up? Who's winning money? Who's winning money here? I know. I'm, I'm up 900. I'm actually winning. Should have had that 1,000 with Robin. How dare you? <laughs> hey, can I point out something, <laughs> by the way? Oh, my God. Yeah. You, you chickened out. <laughs> you, not you let Robin talk you out of it. She did. She I did. didn't talk him out of it. Somehow, anything. my conversation with Gary on the air turned, made you think that I wasn't intelligent. That was ridiculous. I had you from the beginning. I know. All right. Can That's I just a, say, yeah. I, I, I got to take a swipe at Ralph because Ralph said something about me yesterday, and I need to point it out. Go ahead. So I'm at, you are in the top two. I'm right at now. least nine points smarter than Ralph. Ralph told the whole audience yesterday that I'm a fucking dummy <laughs> because I gave him three of the answers on the wrap up show. So I gave him three answers, and he still can't come with a nine point. Oh. Oh. Ralph, admit it. You're shocked that Gary is this high up. You you always think Gary's dumb. You've said it to me in private. I know. No, you think 
he's I, a little I'm not, dopey. I, I thought Gary would be in the top three. I did. You did. All right. I did. All right. So Jeff the drunk had an eighty nine. So you, you, wait, hold on. You also bet me that you were smarter than me, and you lost that. Match. I did. I thought. I still think I'm smarter than you. See, <laughs> that's just how I you absolutely. Lost. I know I am. Gary, you were tested by somebody different. Gary and Scott DePace are walking around like Tinkerbell. I mean, they're almost <laughs> flying. They're lifting off the ground. They're so well, happy. Well, they're of superior intelligence. Um, they can. It's generally agreed that Jason. I don't know where Jason is, but uh, oh, there he is. He's very, very oh. upset. And it's really agreed that he really wanted this bad. I did. It no, I really wanted this bad. <laughs> is this going to affect the way you argue with Scott DePace? He is going to oh, have the yeah. final say now. He's going to say, you know oh, what, though? I'm a lot more intelligent than you. Yeah, I stopped <laughs> arguing with Scott DePace, and I'm definitely going to hold to that for now on. Because, yeah, I, can't, I mean, what's, not, what's the point? I can't listen to the, uh, his idiocy and then have him go, well, I go to 121. 122. <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's over. Uh, All right, we saw a Sal with a 102, JD with a 106, Ralph with a 112, surprising a lot of people, Richard with a 117, the big shock of the day was Richard. No one, no one expected yeah. that. That's why I lost He's the bulk of my money. He's even looking more intelligent. Yeah, look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, I don't it, look so dull. I'm it's even dumb. worse with Richard because if he's got all these brains, he's clearly squandering it. Right. No, I'm having a great time. In fact, the shocking news was that Jason and Richard are separated by one IQ point. Oh, that wow. They're basically in a statistical uh, dead heat. I don't get that. Uh, doctors, would you say that's a statistical dead heat? That's as close as it gets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Jason, kill yourself now. <laughs> Jason. Jason. I'm working on it. Jason's fired from Geek Time, by the way. Uh, Jason, so you're Wait taking... Wait a second. I still beat you. <laughs> Jason, okay. look at the bright side. You're still fat and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, boys. The, the teasing will go on for months. You barely beat Jeff, dude. You know, there just are shut a up lot over of people <laughs> who are praying now that it's not Scott DePace, the winner. I know. Winner. There's yeah. a lot and, of... And this keeps coming from Robin. What the hell is that? No, 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 no. What's I'm going on? Talk, I'm talking about what people are Gary saying. Gary... How do you know what people are saying? I have plenty of people who tell me they were voting for me. No, that's Gary, just what you hear. They Gary went out in the that, hall. But they're not. Gary well, who out. are you talking to? Let, let Howard talk. Gary went out in the hall. Yes. And Doug Goodstein was congratulating uh, Gary, going, hey, man, I hope it's you. And then he ah. found out two seconds earlier with Scott DePace, he was saying, I hope it's you. No, he did <laughs> both. Yeah. Yeah. He, he gave, gave, gave the hands. Gave he gave the, the power. Well, shirt. I'm just saying I talked to a few people, and the... The majority of people here are hoping, praying that it's not Scott DePay. <laughs> you are on. the great white hope. Can I just tell you one other thing? <laughs> it's already funny things have happened. So during the break, Benji gets me, normal Benji, quietly goes... Listen, man, the only reason I bet against you is because you were so, didn't have any confidence. I think you're a smart guy, but, you know, and it was like just funny because Benji would be totally normal. Well, this is the biggest game show in the history of game shows. You know that. This is the ultimate prize. And what are they, Wait, well, Howard, Howard, what's the classification on this now? Well, anybody in this classification, you're talking to the higher register of superior intelligence. Superior intelligence. Howard. Am I correct, doctors? What? This is... Definitely, the, this is definitely the, the big game here. Big Howard, game, yeah. superior intelligence. Here's what you need to do. You're always talking about how you get ripped off. You have to patent this. Imagine that you just go to offices, and the game show is everyone gets tested. Well, Gary, I am producing. I'm back in the producing business. I am bringing this to television, this game. Leno's doing it tomorrow night. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Too late. Okay. <laughs> right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. <laughs> you know, every... Place of work. Someone always thinks they're smarter than their coworker. This is the game where you find out who really is the smartest. <laughs> Scott DePace, you uh, think you're a pretty bright guy. Yeah. Well, clearly you are. Yeah. But are you smarter than Gary? <sighs> Well, I know he did better on the memory part, so... <laughs> already qual that's already yeah. qualified. No, I'm just Here telling you what your strengths are. I know what my You're strengths are. I'm either, I'm either one point below you or one point, one point above you. One of you Come has on, twice the brain power of Wendy the retard. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I that's don't right. even think that matters. Twice the brain power of Wendy. Well, I'm just giving out the statistics. <laughs> <laughs> and now for your answer. You've waited long enough. Scott, do you think you won? Yeah. Gary, do you think you've won? I genuinely don't know. I lack the hubris of my the guy next to me. He, he can lacks look, confidence. He can go look that up later. What is what hubris? Is, yes, what does hubris mean? <laughs> Jason, you still lost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm still a loser. What a shock! Thirty-one years later. <laughs> Always a bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> Life sucks. Oh come on! Here we you go. You know what? Statistically, these two are dead heat. Right. That's right. But yeah, who right, do you think won, Robin? I think Gary won. Well, Robin, you would be 
Uh, incorrect. A person who has guessed some of these right and some of these wrong. <laughs> That's what I am. Douchebag. <laughs> Gary, your IQ beats all the other guys but Scott uh, DePace. Uh, yeah! Uh, Scott! Uh, uh, <laughs> Why did you guys talk me out of it? Scott DePace, 122. Oh. Gary Delabate, 121. That's a very good number. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I'm not bummed Suck it. it. <laughs> this is what everybody was afraid of. They said, we'll never be able to live with Scott. Yeah. This is devastating. We couldn't live with To a lot of people. We couldn't live with him before. Right. Anytime you do something, Scott will be beating you up with that 122. Right. And Scott, oh, uh, to Jason's 118. Oh, oh that's far superior. Oh, Four man. points. That's Wow. <laughs> You know, doctors, there are so many different categories. As I look through the sheets of paper where some people did extremely well in one area, you can, you guys can look at these sheets of paper and find out uh, how you did. But uh, Dr. Sit and Dr. Mugley, thank you for helping us with so this. So what were Scott and Gary's strengths? Well, I can look at your sheet right now and tell you. No problem. By, by the way, Dr. Mugley asked me out. She said I could come back and we can go over, oh, quote, unquote, go over the results. Wait, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Sit said the same thing to me. <laughs> What's that? Were you dreaming when I asked you out? <laughs> yes. He's yes. delusional. You didn't test him for that. Delusion. You caught that, right? Uh, by the way, uh, yes, here's that. Gary Delabate had uh, superior intelligence. He was a high average in verbal comprehension. He was average in perceptual reasoning, but very superior in working memory. That's where you went mm. up. And high average in processing speed, whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. And Scott DePace, you were high average in verbal comprehension, really? very superior in perceptual reasoning, superior in working memory, and in processing speed average. So, What's working memory? What, what um, was that? I don't know. That was the memory stuff. Memory, the, yeah. numbers. Was the numbers. We so, give you numbers, you have to remember them forward and then repeat uh, them backwards. So that was awful. What is processing? Because that's the area that I did better than him in. So what's processing? What is processing, doctor? Processing speed is the ability to really get through information and figure out as you're moving along. That was the key. How to, what's that? He, he, what exactly. he would do, he would give you a, uh, 10 numbers with a, a symbol below it, and you right. had to go through and fill in the symbol. To I see. So it works well under pressure with time restraints, like if you were doing a live show, that sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it, it just goes Didn't to you get average? You. And then, no, I got no, a superior. I got yeah, superior. superior. Well, boys, we'll sort this all out with the bets and everything else, but I do want to congratulate everyone. There was a little good news for everyone, actually. I mean, Sal, uh, you prove to people you are a normal human being. And right. Good for you. No one will um, ever believe that, but it's nice to know. Jeff, you surprised people. Eric, you came out because no one can even figure out if you really took the test for real. Uh -huh. I did take the test. Yeah, but you say you're you didn't. still confounding people, Eric. <laughs> but you say you tried hard. I, I did try hard. All right. It wouldn't yeah. serve him at all to have been normal. Right. The testers can't even believe he tried hard. Yeah, but it wouldn't have served him to be normal. Right. So I he tried. didn't give it any, you tried. Effort. Yeah. All right, any effort whatsoever. And uh, who knows? I think you should go out with Wendy based on these results. <laughs> I went out with her in Vegas. You did. I didn't know that. You two hooked up. Yeah, we were kissing each other. You were? You and Wendy? Oh. 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 I didn't know that. Yeah. The, you two, know what? the two of them kissing don't equal Scott. <laughs> uh, Scott, you feeling pretty good? Yeah. 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 You want to say something as the winner of this fantastic uh, contest? To all you uh, idiots. underlings, yeah. idiots, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, congratulations, hey, Gary. Hey, doctors, what you is the, surprise me helps what is the margin are. of error in this test? The margin of error is 90, it's a 95% confidence, so it's a 5% margin of error. So there could be a five-point swing, either way. Yeah, That's right. correct. exactly. Right. No, exactly. not on over yeah, 120, about, it would be like a four-point swing. No, he, the, your, the doctor just told you it's a five-point swing. I'm telling you, you no, 95%. He's so smart, he's arguing with the doctor. <laughs> He'll argue with anybody. Scott, will you be a gracious winner, and will you mentor Jason and help him to increase his intelligence at all? I do that all the time. I try to tell him about the, how right the Republicans are, and he doesn't understand it. Uh, J.D., uh, you, you surprised by these results a little bit? Uh, no, I, you, know, I, the, the, you know, I had a glimmer of hope that I might be the 122, but... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at care, asshole. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, whatever. It's what can par you for the course. Yeah. Well, I'm boys, not going to kill myself. <laughs> you're all very brave to go against the IQ testers. I will mention again Dr. Sit and Dr. Mugley. 
A couple of the guys had a crush on Dr. Uh, Mugley, and I won't even mention which ones were uh, had a crush on Dr. Sid. <laughs> Dr. Sid, had a, he had a nice ass. He had a nice ass. You, like, you were attracted to Dr. Sid. I'm just saying. All right. Do you know Dr. Sid was voted the best-looking professor in some college magazine? Is that true, Is that Dr. Right? Sid? Mm. Yeah. Great, my professor. I believe it. Eighth, eighth in the country, they say. Anybody attracted to Dr. Sid and who took the test? He's handsome. Uh, Eric, were you attracted to him at all? I, I, I wasn't with him. Oh, you weren't with him. All right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Can you take this test again, and how long do you have to wait before you can take it again? Six months. What did you, you say, Eric? Again. I would say six months. You can take it again, but you should, you should wait a significant amount of time before taking the test again. Otherwise, they have something called practice effects. I see. Are there different questions? No. No, you can have the, You can actually take the same test again, but you probably want to wait. You know, mm. at least. It'd be I great if you went down if you took it the second time. <laughs> um, Scott, will you be on the wrap-up show today, bragging at all? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Gary wants me there. I, you can come. Are you? We're, we're, we're equal intelligence. <laughs> You well, he's a little bit more intelligent. Not really. Yes. yes. Well, let's you would have to really say. Not okay, not here we go. Really. I, am, how do you know? I am of superior intelligence, and I will have a guest on of the same intelligence. Right. I had... Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> right. I'm above, I'm above you. you got to go with that. Statistically, it's a dead heat. No, it's not, because I could have been that much higher as well. You beat right. me by a point, oh, and I recognize God. that. Well, uh, Scott. This is what we're going to have to live and with, Robin, doctors. And you were wrong. I won. <laughs> Scott. Hey, um, but it didn't cost me a thousand. Scott, will you, will you, do you even want to direct the show anymore? You may have brainier things to do in life. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know what's you really funny? Some products. He's <laughs> bragging now, but he lost confidence so much. You know, the other day, everybody was willing to bet him that he wasn't the well, top guy. Right. You're very persuasive. And, he, and we said, if you really had confidence in yourself, you'd bet your house. You'd Jason, the general knowledge stuff. Today. Jason, you said on the sh- wrap-up show yesterday that the inventor of the video caddy could no way beat you, and yet uh, he uh, Oh, man. I, I think he should use some of those IQ points and put them into inventing a better product that actually sells. I actually just did think of one on the way in this morning. So, <laughs> Is yeah. it better than a clamp? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's, you a, know what? it's a putting I, machine. I I said oh, yeah, there's none of, those. none of those. I said he'd be like the scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz now. Yeah. All of his thoughts are just brilliant. He'll just hey, start spouting. I'm starting, well, hey. I'm starting to want to go into business with this. I, guy. Know, I got one more question for the doctor. Clamp, you say, huh? Yeah. I got one more question for the doctor. Yes. On the, on the general, uh, Dr. Sit will remember, on the general knowledge portion of the test, there were two answers that I didn't get that were, I knew after the test that were relatively simple. Had I gotten those two correct, would that have put us at, uh, evenly? Uh, that's a very good question. I don't think it would have made him. Uh, I don't think it would have I'll feel better now. But I've got the same, you know. I've got th- th- yeah, three Scott or four asked me of those. a question the other day. I thought it was pretty easy, but uh, he, he didn't get it right. So yeah, everybody has their weaknesses and strengths. All right, exactly. boys. Uh, uh, first of all, Dr. Sit, Dr. Mugley, thank you. Check out Dr. Sit at mindfulconsultinggroup.com and drsit.com. And check out Dr. Mugley at psychologytoday.com. And Dr. Sit is spelled hey, no. Dr. S I T T. Uh, Ralph, it doesn't sound like you're getting a date with Dr. Mugley. <laughs> Uh, that's too bad. Stick with Patty. Robin. Uh, uh, Dr. Scott, Mugley didn't Robin. distract you. I think you, you would have done better. Can't make yeah. A, yeah. You can't, can't comprehend Robin, things on the would run. would you like to say that I you won? You can't comprehend things on the run. Would you, you know, like, like to say that I won, like Robin? This, when getting, are you taking the test, Robin? You're getting You'll get a 102. Information. You really can't process it all that Go well. Go ahead. You want to <laughs> congratulate me, Robin? I will never forget that you don't uh, process <laughs> the information well. I got a little dopey. I was trying to impress a hot chick. Were you really staring at Dr. Mugley to the point that it distracted you? Are you, are you blaming Absolutely. her on that? Absolutely. It's her fault. She should have not worn something so uh, attractive. Wow. Can I, can you're, I, really, you're smitten. <laughs> can I also say about the bets between Ralph and I, I said I would beat him by 10 points. Right. I beat him by 10 points. That's you, right. I win. to push. I win. You didn't beat what me. What was your, 112 to 1 and plus 10 you had. Yeah, yeah. So he's 122. I'm, it's a tie. I beat him by it's 10 a, points. It's a tie. It's called a push, you dummy. I beat you by 10 points. No, you didn't. Nine points. You, you would have won. 123. If I say to you, Dr. Sit, you're very intelligent. Can you answer this one? So if I tell the guy I will beat him by 10 points, and I beat him by 10 points, don't no. I win the bet? Yeah. It's a tie. No. no, it depends. If you said more than 10 points, yeah. 
Then we Scott, said that really ties would be a, would be a push. Well, we said it two minutes ago. I no, wasn't we thinking said it about. A while it. Hey, Doctor no, Sid, you don't know what you're doing. This guy's going to go back and listen to the tape. The question is, was it an over and under bet or was it a ten point bet? And who is this Doctor Sid? You're paying me, Ralph. No, I'm not. You lost. So it was never said over. It was plus ten. That yeah. was how it was said. It's on the called air. a plus push. 10. I'll it's go back I, and listen. I think to you have to go back with Scott. He's the most intelligent here. Whatever he says goes. Sounds like Scott won that bet. He's the Ayatollah now. Jason, you're saying mean shit from this point forward, my friend. <laughs> Sorry. All right, boys. All right. Thanks, doctors. Uh, thank you for uh, thank calling you. in and being a part of this nonsense. And, uh, My pleasure. All right. We appreciate it. There they are, Dr. Right. Sit and Dr. Mugley. Thank you. And, Robin, there you have it. My Amazing. new game show. I'm sweeping America by storm. Now let's figure out where the money goes. <laughs> Nobody That's will a be able whole other game. Yeah. That'll be three days later. Uh, okay, boys, and uh, thank you for taking this exam. Yeah. I know thank, good. thank you, Howard. It was fun. You're welcome, and uh, <laughs> thanks to uh, Eric and, uh, of course, Jeff the Drunk. Eric, you want to plug so. something? Hey, uh, Howard, I just, want, I just want to say I love you, and I did try my best with this IQ test. And you got a 66. You can't complain. Right, right? and I want to say my best friend Tony from Unforgettable Fire. Right, and by the way, you're Six, you're 66 points higher than I thought you were going to get, so I congratulate you on that. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you, too. And, Jeff, uh, congratulations to you. Even though you got an 89, they're saying you could have been much higher because of your handicap. Thank you, Eric. Eric, so you got a 66. Yes. And I think you seem to be okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, look, no one's perfect in this world, and not everybody's normal. So, you know, look, I tried, and... That, that, that's all I have to say. I tried. Yeah, it was weird. The doctor was concerned that you actually weren't trying. I, I was what? That you weren't trying. Well, I was just saying I was trying. I was trying. All right, so you're fine with it. I'm fine with it, yes. Just being a little above Wendy the Retard, that doesn't bother you? No. All it right, does not. It's not going to change your life, right? It's not going to change your life. My life will still stay the same. Jeff, so what do you think of your score? It was normal. You tried. I tried. What can I do? Are you a little disappointed? I am. Oh, well. What's going to happen? Your life isn't going to change, right? No, no, not at all. Fucking so you're, still, uh, you're still sweating, though. I'm still sweating. Why is that? What's the matter? You're, you're obviously so not bad. nervous anymore. Because you're so damn cute. <laughs> uh-huh. Thanks, man. I'm very upset the way they test him. That was BS. I lost him on money. Why? Because it. it's like saying you're, they're supposed to do different tests when someone has a physical handicap. They wouldn't say like a blind person, oh, you're illiterate. You can't read. Look at this book. You're not reading it. I, I think you probably should be about like uh, at least 10, 20 points higher. At least. Yeah. Focus. But I'm pissed about because I lost a lot of money on it, but I really think you are. What, what's five times five? One of five. Yeah. Jeff, all Can you do that? What's five times five? Uh, 23. See? <laughs> but clap your hands. <laughs> See? That's where you feel. That's right. That's where you feel. <laughs> Jeff, you cost me a hundred bucks. Okay. You fucker. I thought you were going to be smarter than a dumbass Sal of an alley. So did I. You fucker. Sal, come here and collect your hundred bucks. Sal, Sal, come here. I'm gonna put it in fucking Jeff's underwear. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my hundred bucks in Jeff's ass. Oh no, you no, have to no, pull no, it out. No, no, pull it, no. put it in your. I can't believe you cost me a hundred bucks, this idiot. Sorry. Robin, hey, I need my fifty hey, from Sal. you. Bitch, you remind you. Yeah. Who's stupid now, motherfucker? Sal. He is. Sal, so you got a 102. Got a 102. Normal intelligence, which not too shabby. I fall right within the vicinity of the normal, average human being as far as intelligence is concerned. So that's pretty good. Not stupid, which is nice. Ganji's stupid. He lost a bet to me. Robin is stupid. She lost a bet to me. But me? Normal intelligence. Normal. <laughs> what normal guy wouldn't do what I do? You know? Right? Did anyone shock you with their score? Great question. I think Ralph did a little better than I thought. You know? I think Ralph did a little better than I thought. Because the guy just sits home all day, smokes weed, steals money off of poker tables, hey, leeches. Right <laughs> no, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about Ralph. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, you know, doesn't finish projects. You know. Ralph's kind of like the opposite of me. Like, I'm normal and super creative. He's smart and... A lazy sack of shit that doesn't get things done. 
All right, cool. So you're happy with your score? Um, you're content with it? Yeah, I would say I'm content. What does content mean? <laughs> Yeah. Is it number one? Is that the box is on number one contents? I'm happy that in honor of Wendy's score, Sal's wearing her score on his hat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, the, the crazy thing is, is that high pitch Eric's score was 27 plus 39. See that? <laughs> All right. Um, but I'm real happy. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm content with it. I wish I did a lot better. But again, it doesn't measure somebody's creativity and somebody's passion. And that's what I think I'm good at, you know? Uh, you know, with all you know, with the with the things that I do for the show, like the game concepts we I've come up with, uh, the man on the street concepts I've come up with, the phony phone calls, the songs, stuff like that. That's where I think I excel, and that's what's important. So I'm happy about that. JD, so you got a 106 yes. in your IQ. Yes. How are you feeling about that? It's fine. Um, you know, decent score. Decent. Better than uh, <laughs> better than Jeff the Drunk and. Uh, Wendy to retired and high pitch Eric. So, you know, what am I gonna do? Were you surprised by any scores? Um, not, not necessarily. Uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I expect everyone to be fairly smart. So, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, pretty much. So you're not bumming out? No. <laughs> what am I gonna do? You know? So what? <laughs> I'm a 106. I have 106 IQ. Yeah, I can, it's not bad. Can you change that anyway? Can you get that like larger? Can you increase your yeah, intelligence? Yeah, can you increase your intelligence? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, whatever, Jack. <laughs> there he is. The great JD. Normal intelligence. From one normal intelligent guy to another. Hey. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Now shave that beard and then make it look smart. <laughs> Ralph, so you got a 112. Mm -hmm. Happy with that? I'm happy with that. That is high average. Did you think you were going to do that well? What did you think your score was going to be? Um, I'm not surprised by that. I thought because there was some stuff that I did really well in, which she confirmed, which was the reasoning, deductive reasoning, I think that was like superior intelligence I got on that. We're going to see the breakdowns, which will be interesting. But I know where I choked, the, like the general information, and then there's things with numbers that I got, you had to work things out in your head, and I get confused with that. But I also think that I can take it again and do like 10 points better, because those things will, uh, those things, the things that I think that um, I, I failed on, I can do, I can learn. The, mm -hmm. the things that the, the figuring things out and that kind of thing, I don't think you can learn. You either have that ability or you don't. You know, you can't learn that. I can learn general information. I, I, yeah. I didn't, I, I can't say what it was, but I just, I, I, I had, I, I lost on some of the stupidest question, you know? So I choked a little bit, you know, because you're in there. It's almost two hours I was in there. And at some point you just get like, oh my God, you know, and you start overthinking some things and stuff, so... Did anyone uh, surprise you with their score? Uh, Richard definitely surprised me, and we were taken by the same person, but we're five points apart, and it, it, the test is a plus or minus five, so we're, we're pretty much even. I thought I would be Richard. I, I definitely thought I would be Richard. What's going to happen with uh, your bet with the pace? I, it's a push. I mean, if he's so smart, he should be able to figure that out. But he's so smart, he's trying to weasel, you know, he's trying to weasel money out of me. You know, he's, he's not that, 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 the pace being the smartest does surprise me because he, he is, is, uh, I, I think to be smart, you have to be open-minded and he is so close-minded, so of his own thought and can see things one way. I think that you, you know, the pace surprised me, even over Richard surprised me. I, I, I don't see how that happens. But again, you know, you got to see what the playing field is. It's a bunch of all these dummies, you know? It's not like you had Einstein in the group. <laughs> 117. Congratulations, Richard. Thank you. Apparently my uh, brain didn't shrink with my weight. How do you feel about your score? I'm very happy with it. You know, I would have been happy with anything above 100, uh, but I'm really happy. I'm uh, very psyched. Now, you, uh, you did a little better than your buddy, Sal. But he did good. I'm proud of him. He did. He did. He did. He did really good. And... He has nothing to be ashamed of, and I still consider us equals no matter what. This is only a test. This doesn't measure anything except what they ask you about. It doesn't measure somebody's humor or somebody's um, kindness or 
somebody's um, pouch or somebody's um, ability to find the greatest piss videos in the world and uh, somebody's ability to make amazing prank calls so that to, that's all the stuff that matters to me because I love working here and I love working with Sal and the fact that Sal is a comedic genius is all that matters to me. Cool. All right, good job, buddy. Thank you very much. I'm psyched. I was really happy to take this because I've always been curious anyway. I wasn't really nervous. I was just curious. Uh, I've always wanted to take an IQ test, and I, I, you know, I'm very thankful to Howard that I got to take one because these things are not cheap either. You know, they it's it's a very involved process to do this. So I'm really happy and really excited now that I know exactly what my IQ is. So. Thank you, Howard. Jason, how you feeling, buddy? How you think I feel? You know how much I wanted to win. I was standing at this stupid door yesterday telling you how badly I wanted to win, and now I lost. Uh, you know, 118, it's not a number I'm embarrassed by. It's a very good number, and I'm, very, I'm not upset with my number. I would have liked to have crossed over to that 120 threshold. Um, I like the thing that the guy told me that I scored in the 99th percentile, that uh, one area that he said uh, is pretty much the meat of the test, so I will take that to heart and appreciate that. But at the end of the day, this was a contest, and there's winners and losers in life, and I did not win this contest, which makes me a loser. So, What bothers you more, that you weren't the winner or that you didn't beat the pace? Both. I mean, if I had lost but still beat the pace, I would have felt better. If uh, I had lost and Gary beat the pace, I would have felt better. I mean, and the thing is, again, well, I, honestly, I still don't have respect for Scott's intelligence, regardless of what the test says. But again, it's, it's more his personality. Like... You know, he already has an insanely high opinion of himself, and this is just is bloating it up. Like, you know, I, I don't. So if I had gotten a higher score, I don't think I'd be as obnoxious about it. Scott was already obnoxious, and uh, I was just expecting more obnoxiousness to come. Um, so, yeah, it totally sucks he won from that standpoint. But again, I'm not going to sneeze that he was uh, four points better than me. The doctor said he had a five-point swing. Um, so... Uh, you know, listen, he won. On paper, he won. and the test, he won. But at the end of the day, I don't feel uh, that it's that big of a, a swing. So, but, you know, but like I said, I lost. There's nothing. You can't change that. Numbers are the numbers. Gary, so you got a 121, and you said you're happy because you exceeded your expectations. But are you happy that, that the pace beat you? Listen, I would have liked to have beaten Scott, no doubt. But this is, was never a Gary Scott competition. In fact, most people didn't put me in the competition with Scott. It was, a, it seemed to be, a Scott, Jason competition with me coming in third, and then that was even being questioned by a lot of people. So, uh, we're a point apart. We're almost equal. He won. I can see that he won. He's, you know, a half a fucking centimeter smarter than me, a millimeter smarter than me, and um, I think I'm the, I think I'm the big winner today. Because I'm working out with 900 bucks, I won in betting, and I'm smarter than most people thought I was. Cool. And um, did anyone, uh, anyone's IQ surprise you today? Uh, thought JD would do a little better. I was not surprised by Richard's IQ. I thought Rich, I was the one all along saying I thought Richard was a smart guy. Um, Sal was the wild card. You know, I, if it would have been five points higher, I would have been shocked. And if it would have been five points lower, I wouldn't have been shocked. What was it, 105 or 102? 102, I believe. Yeah, he was you know, really three points away from being under 100, and I think that would have crushed him. I knew I was the smartest around here. Why did I let those dummies talk me out of it? I could have made a lot of money. Four points the yeah. other way, he's not even <laughs> superior. Yeah, let's see Robin take the test. <laughs> now, Robin and Gary are saying that you're pretty much the same intelligence as Gary. Yeah, that's the spin. Yes. I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't, maybe I'm not that bright. I didn't see that spin. Uh, coming, but I mean, you know, what are, what are they going to say? It's he, the producer of the show. He's got to be the, the top guy, so we'll have to live with uh, some explanation like that. Good, so you feeling good about yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's no shock. I, I thought I'd be uh, <laughs> superior intelligence to these guys. <laughs> Were you surprised uh, about Jason's score? Uh, to be honest, I was. I thought it would be Jason and I, number one and two, and Gary, either three or four. So Gary even surprised me, but um, yeah, apparently he's stupid.